everybody, Gary Fong here. I am holed up just like everybody. I don't know how long it's been, but I have been holed up uh, inside the house and um, wanted to give you some coping tips that have helped me out. I've seen some really great tips from others on social media and I thought I would share my own. So one of the things I'd like to show you is a really cool app called Dailyo. Now, Dailyo is a journal, but what I really like about journals is that um, in times like this, when you're really freaked out, I like to write exactly how I feel. You know, no one's going to see this. This thing is completely secured with password and everything like that. So I want to just say exactly how I feel. Um, if I'm freaked out, if I'm worried about something, and then just document that when and what changes the mood. And the reason why that's important to me is because it gives me perspective. Later, I'll come back and I'll look at that journal entry and go, oh my God, I worried about nothing. And that's a consistent pattern with me. I grew up very much a worrier. Journaling has helped me understand that um, typically the things I worried about never happened or they did happen, but you wound up finding that it was for the better. So, um, and also they typically show you how much time you spent worrying about something that never really happened. So that's, that's really good training. So <clears throat> I'm going to show you the Dailyo app here. Okay, so <clears throat> the first thing that happens is it says, how are you? And you have five different uh, stages. It's from rad to awful, radical. You know, you can, you can customize this thing in any way you want. So let's just say today, I'm feeling rad. Um, what have you been up to? So I'm just going to add a note and I'm going to say, well, I have been on the internet talking to my YouTube followers about some things to do to kill time or coping skills. And uh, one of them, of course, is this app. Oh, by the way, I get nothing for this. I don't even know how you would get money for recommending an app. But what I like about this app is that you can, as you can see, talk into it and see that it will transcribe, period. Um, also, journaling is an amazing way for you to let off steam and find just a really good perspective of how things are period. It's kind of nice to go back and see how you felt when you first heard out about this virus. Oh, everyone's talking about this virus. I think it's just silly. Um, nothing's going to happen to it. They always talk about viruses and flus and uh, it's no big deal, period. Oh, now I think it's getting kind of serious because they closed off Italy, period. Uh, things like that. Or, you know, how am I going to work? Uh, how am I going to pay rent? I'm so freaked out. All of those things can go down into your journal because someday later, we will look back at this episode and laugh, period. And you know, it's like a bad vacation. You only remember the good parts. So the good parts are like for me, spending time with my kids, more time with my kids than ever before. And I have to be present or else they're going to freak out because they can't be with their friends. They can't go to school. And so... But you know what? When I was a, uh, my kids are eight. When I was an eight-year-old kid, extra daddy time was the coolest thing ever. So um, it was actually a real bonus. And, you know, so they'll boost you through that because they're like, you actually want to play cards with me? You actually want to play board games? And uh, yes, of course. So when this is all over, how will you look back at this time and think, how did you spend your time in solitude? Did you uh, maybe learn a foreign language? So I want to show you that too. Google Translate is the bomb, and I'll show you why. So it has, uh, among many other things, like it can actually, like, you can put a video over something and it'll actually translate the ketchup bottle and, and translate into what Swahili. It's, it's remarkable. Um, but right here, I'm going to press on the conversation button. Because that way, you'll be able to see how cool that is. <laughs> cette façon. De cette façon, vous pourrez voir à quel point c'est cool. C'est cool, c'est très cool. So I haven't pressed the button yet, but let's, let, let's just, so um, what I'm going to do is, it's on English right now. So as you can see, that it's actually um, translating as I talk. 
Now, um, so underneath it, and then if I want to listen to what it said, then I just press the button with the little speaker. Ce que je vais faire, c'est que c'est en anglais en ce moment. Donc, comme vous pouvez le voir, c'est en train de traduire cela. Je parle maintenant si en dessous et ensuite si je veux écouter ce qu'il a dit, j'appuie simplement sur le bouton avec le haut-parleur. So that's a lot for many people. Um, but I always find foreign language has different spheres. Like the first sphere is travel, um, tourist, tourist. So it would be like, where are the restrooms? Um, oh, let's do that. Let's find out how to say, where is the restroom in, we'll go to conversation. Excuse me, where are the restrooms? So, um, <clears throat> if you want to learn a foreign language, it's really cool to be able to say, learn phrases rather than one word at a time and what are the verb rules and conjugation and, and uh, present perfect and things like that. You know, um, when I taught my kids French, we don't just say, I just say, hey, open the window, ouvre la fenêtre, um, go to the car, à la voiture. They learn the phrase as a unit rather than uh, ouvre, open le fenêtre it you know it's it's all just one thing so what you could do in google translate is just kind of learn uh, an entire phrase and just repeat it over and over and what's cool about google translate is it will remember the phrases that you're working on and it's kind of cool so you know you go to hong kong and you say <laughs> ching chong chong ching i don't i don't know chinese um but so those are two things that can really help you. This is a time where there's a lot of benefits. I mean, my number one benefit is, you know, I look out that window and I look at the blue skies and, and the beautiful trees, and I think that the earth is being cleansed very, very much so. I look at our individual uh, sanitary habits, and I know they're going to be changed from now and forever because I've, I've watched my son learn how to, you know, get soap suds underneath the fingernails because I guess he was taught that at school. Um, <clears throat> also, I think that it's really a positive thing that we get to spend time with people that, you know, we not, not, might not be able to spend time with. I mean, how they say, oh, they grow so fast. And sometimes we regret as parents, you know, I was taking them to soccer and then I took them to tennis and then, you know, and I was, ah, oh, why are you late all the time? But you never really sit around and spend bored time with them. Um, so that's a real benefit. And then last of all, whenever I get freaked out, because I'm just as freaked out as any of you, um, I think about the earth and I think about how wonderful it is for the earth to take this cleansing moment. I mean, you know, you take a, a fish tank that's got a bunch of junk in it and you put like a little gas controlled RC thing on it whoa, 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 and it's spewing out petroleum and it, you know, you've got all kinds of sludge going into it and everything like that. Um, but you stop that for two weeks and, you know, clean it and uh, give it some time to breathe and what happens, you know, or oh, same thing with a garden, you weed your garden, and then just in a month or two, the garden looks amazing. So whenever I feel really kind of strange and awful, which happens a lot, I'm not going to lie, it's tough. Um, I, I envision coral reefs returning to color. I envision uh, deep blue skies with just clean, fresh air in the middle of Shanghai, China or Manila in the Philippines, uh, or Mexico City, birds chirping in Mexico City, or in Rome, you know, Rome is just like one roundabout after another around a fountain and everyone's zipping by in Vespa scooters and everything like that. And I envision a Rome where you can actually hear the birds chirp. So um, this, we will look at this time backwards. And when we come out of this, we're gonna be like, Oh my God, it's so nice to go to Starbucks again. Oh my God, it's so nice to, you know, whatever it is. You're going to look back at this time and you're going to think, man, I had all the time in the world to do something. So for me, I think it helps to 
just regiment your time, figure out what you want to do, block off some time for journaling, for learning, for improving your skills, and then of course focusing on your health. One thing I wanted to say about focusing on your health is um, when they say that you have a cold or a flu, what do they tell you to do? Stay in bed, lots of bed rest, lots of fluids, lots of vitamin C. And uh, what's nice about this self-quarantine time is you're not out and about and touching things. Remember, you're not just trying to avoid uh, corona. You're also trying to avoid any pathogens that can come in and invade your system and make you sick. So being away from everybody and self-isolating allows your immune system to not constantly be under attack. And when it's not under attack, then it can fortify because you know what? Chances are there's a lot of people that right now watching this have it, but don't know they have it yet, um, has yet to surface. This thing's got a seven to 14 day incubation time when you don't know that you're contagious, but you are symptom free. Once the symptoms come, why not be in a place where you've spent five days bed rest, lots of fluids, staying away from people, and then uh, when or if the thing does come, your immune system will be much more set to um, handle that. So anyway, just some, you know, tips to help you guys make it through this really, I want to say boring, but I don't think it's boring. I mean, think about it. If you're really ambitious, you could learn how to read Braille. Um, not many times in life do we get a time to stop and not have something to do. It's amazing. I can pick up the phone and call my friends. And I used to have to text because I was afraid that they were going to be busy. No one's busy anymore. So that's why I have enough time to sit here and say hi to all of you. Um, but it would really uh, mean a lot to me if you did purchase my courses at Sony Alpha Courses um, or learn to photograph weddings.com because I'm just like everybody else. We have nothing coming in so but we do have a vast library of online streaming educational resources and of course free videos on YouTube over a thousand videos on how to pose shoot light photography cinematography things like that so you will see me come to this webcam probably a lot more now that I have a lot more time and uh, you know give you a chance to get to know me a little bit better and you just met my cat so um, thank you very much, very, very sincerely for all of your support and um, patronage and um, just wonderful vibes. I appreciate everybody so much, and I hope you stay well out there. Thank you.